Gemini, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 12th through the 18th. And I'll uh, take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Gemini. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Three of Cups, wanting to bring something or someone closer to you. There's definitely a, sen a sense of um, coming together or coming back together here through that energy. In the recent past, the King of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands, really confident, opening up in the direction of a soul connection here by the looks of it. Um, in the immediate future, the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Strength card. Taking a step back here by the looks of it. It takes a lot, but you're looking like you're taking a step back or really, 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 really trying to. Um, okay. I'm not sure from what. It doesn't have to be tied up to this connection. I kind of get the sense that it is, but okay. In the immediate future, the Ten of Swords, the Sun, the Four of Cups. Something might be coming to a close, something, or you may feel like something is coming to a close. Now, you're also giving me two options. You have two choices here in how you're going to take this. One, you're going to be happy about it because it opens up the door to a brand new beginning. Two, you're going to be bummed out, like really, really sad, really upset, really disappointed. Um, interesting that you're the one that's giving me these options. Because that means that you understand that you have these two options here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's clarify. Let me do the three of cups. Ooh, that flew out. And look what I found. Okay. The Four of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Ace of Wands for the Three of Cups. Uh, you're showing me commitment here. Is there a commitment? Because you're also showing me commitment with a sense of overthinking over it. So I'm like, is there a commitment? Or do you want there to be commitment? Two very different things. I don't know. But that's what you're aiming for to bring this together maybe in the form and shape of a commitment between you and another but man there's a whole lot of overthinking in the way you know there's a whole lot of obstacles that your mind places um in the path of this let's do the king of swords the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Chariot. Very confident here. Very confident in how you approach this initially. You're showing up as, oh, this looks good. I like it. Let's go. Really, really feeling good about it. Okay. Where everything seems to be aligning. All right. Let's see the Six of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Seven of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles. You already took that step back. Something seems to be unfolding here, but over a long stretch of time, there's a stretch of time there like crazy. That's very long, and it seems to it seems like something's coming together, but then you back away from it, but then you're like, ah, oh, let's try this again, kind of a thing. So this this almost feels like it's you and you. You know, I'm looking at you dealing with you in regards to the situation rather than how the situation unfolded altogether it's like how you approached it uh your angle to it which is okay we'll just let it be what it is and then we'll just step back and then we'll just kind of try again or something let me do the eight of wands the Six of Wands, the Judgment card, the Seven of Pentacles. Every time you move towards it, though, you seem to be coming in with a sense of uh, feeling good about it. Feeling optimistic. Feeling like, okay, we're doing this. Feels good. 
So then my question is, what the hell is pulling you back there? Because you... You're not telling me right now. I'm sure you will in time here as I go through all of these energies, but... I see an unjustified pulling away from this kind of an energy in the middle of it all, and I'm like, because why? Let's do the page of pentacles in the current situation. The two of cups, the six of pentacles, the knight of wands. Okay. Okay, really coming down with more grounded energies, more clear energies at play of where you see this going, um, the angle you're kind of shooting from at this time. And it feels good. It feels loving. It feels passionate. It feels like you're coming from a place of equal give and take, you know? So understanding that this is a two-way street. It's not just you dealing with something where they have no idea um, what's going on here on your side, you know? Like, not at all. You're just kind of doing your own thing. It's like, oh, okay, we're in love. But they don't know that because, you know, they're not involved in this story of mine. Mm -hmm. Not really. You're definitely trying to... Oh, man, there's still this energy here. For the Six of Swords, you get the Ace of Swords, the Moon, the Five of Swords. Where is this coming from? There's a constant need to keep distance here from this. And... I that's where you're acting from that's where you're bringing all the all the it doesn't make sense if you think about it so it's like me wanting to to pick up this deck of cards right and i really want to but i'm gonna go further and further away from it and then i'm like i'm reaching because all of my energy is involved into the action of picking up the the deck so i'm somewhere here and i go further and further away and i'm like can't you know so that's kind of how it feels like uh this energy towards this all of everything you've got involving actions words energies 90 percent of your energies are moving towards whatever whoever this is a big 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 unseen part of you is pulling you backwards usually i see that as fear now, I'm not going to jump to that yet, even though I might as well, because uh, I'm not seeing it in the cards. I'm like, you hide it so well. <laughs> you're, you're, you're becoming a professional fear hider, basically. Because um, I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Okay, let's do the strength card. And it's very deceptive because it's like, if you want to pick up this deck of cards, why are you pulling away from it when all you're doing is reaching for it? You know, it doesn't make sense. Uh, logically speaking, it's like, hold on. What's, then what's pulling you away? That's where the question is. Um, for the strength card, you get the king of cups, the two of swords, the ten of swords. There it is. Ah. There's the fear of defeat of this is never gonna happen for me even though again a big 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 huge chunk of you is like super open to this wants for this to happen it's like i'm i'm here i'm showing up for it that fear is pulling you back like no tomorrow and usually it's going to present itself in overthinking so you're going to start questioning things you're going to start questioning who knows what the smallest little things about yourself about them about the whole situation you're going to start doubting you're gonna, that's what fear does and that's what it is fear fear of failure here by the looks of it i'm gonna fail at this this is not you know written in stone for me this is not this is not written in the stars no 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 not for me well, that's what fear does it creates these limiting beliefs where even though you're showing up that's why a lot of people don't understand it's like i have everything down i'm open my heart is open my this is open everything is open everything is as it should be why isn't it not showing up for me 
usually because you have something in the way you know and in this case is definitely fear of failure which again it's going to present itself to you as you being in your head and starting to question pretty much everything tied up to yourself involving the situation to them involving the situation to the situation itself so okay let's do the ten of swords the ten of wands the emperor the page of swords you're starting to acknowledge this fear which is something very difficult to do very you're starting to catch it you start to catch yourself while you're feeding that fear by again you know whatever's going on in your head about things um you're getting it you're getting it it's like oh oh shit there it is okay okay and the page of swords is an indication of you dealing with it you know okay it's there what are you gonna do about it now now that you see it for the sun you get the wheel of fortune the five of cups the queen of swords well what you're doing about it is you're starting to work with it you're starting to go back to that time when this fear was created you're starting to look back at all of the other relationships that were ran by you under this fear you know so you're starting to heal it you're starting to work with it that's why the happiness is here because you're clearing your path towards happiness by doing that okay good Let's do the Four of Cups in the immediate future, the Nine of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Devil. And then you're coming back and doing things in the same way. Just when you thought it's like, oh, okay, I've healed. Um, and by the way, this, when you start identifying the fear, and when you start especially looking back at all of the times when this fear showed up, trying to identify where it did showed up for the first time and things like that, this is gonna take a while. It's gonna take a minute. You can't just look back at, mm, okay, so this week, what, 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 what am I gonna do? I'm gonna look back at that relationship, that relationship, that, 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 that check, 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 check. Okay, I'm good. Now, Let's do this again without any kind of fear. Let's go after the deck with that shit not being in the way because I just checked everything off the list, right? So I should be able to... What the... What, what the hell is going on? Why am I being pulled away again? You know, because you're showing up doing the same thing. And it's fine if you do. You're not going to get it right the first time you come out of healing this. You know, it's 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 like everything else practice makes perfect and the minute you apply what you've learned and what you've healed to a situation that you're dealing with actively you might actually bring up the old way of doing things because that's been instilled with within you for who knows how long usually years decades so how are you going to change that you know the first try um as you integrate it into your new life, this new sense of being without that fear. Or with that fear around, but knowing how to handle it. You're never going to get it right the first time. You know, none of us would. None of us will. Uh, we're not Buddhas here. We're just humans. So we may bring back the old patterns. We may, because we're used to it. It's, again, instilled within us. It's us at this time. You know? So it's going to take some while. So don't be hard on yourself if, you're, if you see yourself... Uh, throwing yourself back in here and reacting kind of in the same way. What's different about it all is that now you have the acknowledgement over it. And in the background, there's always that work that you put on this fear. So it's going to happen one day where you're going to act in a different way. And you'll be able to reach this goddamn deck. You know, or whatever it is that you're reaching for. Because um, in your case, I feel like it's a person, not a deck of cards. But let's see what the universe has <clears throat> the hermit the three of swords the fool yeah you're healing it right now and you're super excited about it energetically speaking physically speaking i feel like if i were if i were to talk to you you would probably tell me this sucks this healing of fears really sucks and i'm like yeah i know but energetically speaking, as a soul of you, Gemini, you're, you're super pumped about it. Like, yay, finally, you know, because uh, this has created a lot of troubles in my life and it, it has. So you're actively 
healing, some sort of fear that is holding you back from this current situation you're dealing with as well. Um, and from who knows how many other situations you've had going on in your life, you know? So, okay. Cool. Happy to see that. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.